What's up my homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and today is another <laughs> outdoor kitchen update. All right, so if you're new to our channel, uh, we call the people that hang around our channel Homestead Homies. Um, and we always like to throw that in our videos. Um, and we also have t-shirts available that say, I'm a homestead homie. Uh, they're just kind of fun, help support our channel. Uh, today we're doing an out outdoor kitchen update. Um, in the previous video, you saw that we got all the walls on. Um, we did, this is T111 siding, and we've turned it sideways. It is meant to go eight feet up and four feet wide, but we flipped it on its side so it could mimic the outdoor kitchen. It doesn't hurt anything, uh, the integrity of the plywood or anything like that, but it adds for a really excellent look. If you, uh, I mean, don't you agree? So what we did was um, we put the paneling on and then I came in and I did two coats of stain of a, a weather uh, resistant, you know, water tight stain. Um, the same stain that I used for the log home. And um, after I did the two coats of stain, then I came back in with some uh, outdoor paint uh, off white or whatever color I finally ended up choosing. I didn't have, I just was going off memory when I was at the paint store, but it looks great. And then I kind of, you know, I didn't make it too neat or perfect, and then it blends in. It makes it look like it's an extension of the log home, which was one of our main goals. I wanted it not to look like the outbuildings that we have, but to make it look more homey and more like the um, off-grid log home. So also, um, when I build a house uh, coming up, um, then I'm going to build a second house on the property that's going to be like a guest house. So. Um, we're going to have programs available in the future for you to come here to our property and learn how to live off-grid, learn how to live sustainably, um, and I think that's really going to be a neat program, so stay tuned for that. But we're going to build it the same kind of a way to where it looks like it's, you know, part of the three buildings that are the home base type buildings versus um, everything that's green and white, which is our exterior like outbuildings, okay, and animal shelters. So after I got all that stained and painted, then I came in. Uh, with my screen, uh, we stretched out the screen as you can see here. And then after I stretched out the screen, I used a ton of staples on the screen. It was the first time I've ever done anything like this. I wanted to make sure that I had as, as much staples in there as possible uh, to make it a nice tight fit and to really hold it down. And then I ripped all the boards for all the stops for the windows. I stained those. And then I, after I got my screen up, then I framed in as you can see the windows then after I got all my screen work up I stain I put in the um, framework for the windows as you can see in this clip so the next step of this process is going to be the roof we're waiting on the roofing material um, once we get that we're gonna explain to you guys what it is we're gonna let you know um, everything about it if we like it if we don't like it how it is to handle uh, to cut to put up and all that stuff so look for that video to be coming up on um, next week sometime um, we have a ton of great videos coming out for you guys so stay tuned for that um, we have a couple giveaways uh, if you guys saw us on full spectrum survival uh, we have a headlamp to give away to one of you guys uh, lucky winners so in probably in the next video or two we're gonna go over that we're gonna talk about the headlamp and then we're gonna give it away and then um, you'll contact us so we can ship it out to you plus we have a couple of other things that we're gonna try to squeeze in here pretty quick um, that you guys are really gonna like I'm pretty sure about it and um, so we're just a little bit behind so just bear with us I know we haven't been posting videos like we normally do if you're new to our channel uh, we, we are do post daily videos um, even though we're off-grid and um, we're tr we're gonna get back into the swing of things this these projects here just had me running a little bit behind because um, I'm fighting with the weather and everything else okay so Bear with us on that. We'll get you guys some more great material. Hopefully you guys are learning from our videos. Hopefully you are digging the outdoor kitchen uh, build and this maybe could give you some ideas on your property, what you could do to uh, take all that heat out of the house in the summertime. And then we also have some really cool sun oven um, things. In case you're new to our channel, uh, we really promote the All-American Sun Oven. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and leave a coupon down below in the description box. And you can click on that, save some money on the All-American Sun Oven. Check out our playlist. We have a playlist on our homepage um, with the All-American Sun Oven in it. And, uh, you know, if, if you don't have to be off-grid or a homesteader or anything uh, to get this and add it to your arsenal of preparedness. 
So keep that in mind. We have some neat things we're coming up uh, pretty soon about using the sun oven for some things that uh, even Paul, who owns All American Sun Oven, was totally amazed by when we shared that information with them just recently. So stay tuned for that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. This is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'll see you guys on the next one.